day. Home and hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went cold. Hey y'all, welcome to or back to my channel. As you can see by the title, this is going to be a makeup tutorial for beginners um, with products that will cost you less than $100. First, I'll go in with my Elf's, Elf's Cosmetics um, Grip Primer, and I just rub that in, y'all. First, though, I didn't even show that part. Um, of course, you do your skincare routine and stuff, and I like to use hyaluronic acid like right before, but... I make sure I put enough to where my makeup won't come off, and I just make sure I really rub that in. No, no, no. That's that sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds ain't look like a rainbow. That's cause the necklace of frame. Her, well. Next, I go ahead and start doing my brows y'all i don't know how to do my brows and i don't know there's just not really a thing that i really am interested in so all i do is use this brow lift um with like the thing that i'm using because i definitely don't know the name for that i need to get another one y'all because i've been reusing that one but um yeah i just brush them up a little bit and make them look the way I want them to look. I just like my brows to look sleek. Like I said, I don't know how to do my brows. Maybe one day I'll get into it. But yeah, if you know how to do your brows already, then of course, I guess most people go ahead and do that part first before anything else. But this is my step for doing my brows. Then I go ahead and put my lashes on, y'all. Um, I normally go ahead and put the glue on and let it dry so it can be, you know, pretty sticky enough to stay on. I didn't really like how my lashes came out, y'all, because I need to go get some more glue. I'm using an uh, old glue that I used to use, but I personally like the um, LA Colors Lash Glue. It's like the white one, and I will be putting all the products up on the screen just to show you guys the price and stuff on how much it is. Because like I said, all this stuff in total will equal less than $100. Next, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless um, Liquid Foundation, y'all. And I just take a brush that kind of looks similar to that and rub it on my face and on my neck, of course. And I feel like it may look like it's a lot, but I don't know. I feel like it makes my makeup look good when I have, not when I have a lot of foundation on, but I used to not put a lot at all and you could still see like some imperfections. So just be kind of generous with it. And then I put some setting spray on my beauty blender to get it damp, not too wet. And then I beat my face. <laughs> As you can see it comes out looking really good like like skin almost and um as you can see i don't put any under my eyes because i do put concealer right there which i'll be doing soon but i just try to avoid under the eyes and go 
all around everywhere else. Next, I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, y'all. It's damn near empty. Um, This makeup routine, I normally do a brighter eye, under eye. Like, I guess if I'm going out somewhere and I really just wanted to do my makeup. But I was going to work, y'all, and I just felt like doing my makeup. And I was like, why not record this? So, this is kind of a more natural look for me. And, yeah, I just put that right under my eyes. I do in between my eyebrows, right under my nose, and then on my chin as well. Then I wait about two minutes. Um, Sometimes I wait less, y'all, because I be rushing sometimes. But, yeah, about two minutes you would have it sit on. I put a little more foundation um, just to cover, make sure I'm covered pretty good. Um, which is not necessary if you feel like you don't need it, but it's just something that I like to do. Then I was really fighting with this setting spray, y'all, because it was clearly empty and I'm still trying to get anything that's left in there, y'all. Um, I actually need to go get some more now that I'm recording this or editing this. I gotta remind myself to go get some more but like I said just adding more in and as you can see y'all like I feel like you know having more foundation it really helps because I feel like my skin is glowing whenever I do have enough on but then I go ahead and start blending I like to do the other places first and then do my um underneath my eyes last because I just think it underneath my eyes where I want it to look the best so I let it sit for just a little longer and as you can see I'm taking the top of the beauty blender and blending it out as good as possible i like to go over my nose and stuff um and for the most part i don't go back and cover that up because it ends up blending pretty decently to where it doesn't look like i have a bunch of makeup right in between my eyes but i blend it until i like how it looks um like i said i normally do a little bit of a brighter under eye but i also do like how just this one shade looks on me um, like I said, I feel like it looks just a little more not too not too much. Because when I do have the bright under eye, like I said, I am going out. So where I'm going out side to a party or something like that. But if you want something a little more natural, I would just suggest going like one shade or so above. Next, I go in with my eyeliner, y'all. Um... That's something I like to do. I like to put eyeliner underneath, like, on the bottom part. Um, I don't know how to do actual eyeliner, like a wing or anything like that. So, I want to learn, but I haven't had the time to really just sit down and do it. I use liquid as well, but this one works just as well because the liquid sometimes just gets in my eyes and can mess up my makeup sometimes. So, I've started to use this one. Next, I go on with this mascara that I've had for like two years, y'all. I need to just hang it up. I need to get another mascara as well, now that I think about it. Um, but I just put it on my... Why am I making that face? Oh, my gosh. Don't make that face whenever you're doing your makeup because... No. Anyways, um, I do my bottom lash and try to drag it out as much as possible. Um... I pull down and then I go like through a brush and uh, movement across because I like how like the darker under light eye looks. So that's how I decided to do my makeup. But yeah. That'll make me more hopeful Everywhere you go, they know you Can't be antisocial I can't sleep sometimes I need peace of mind Next, I take this lip liner And go around my lips, y'all Um, 
I don't know. I feel like it's been coming out a little crooked lately. I used to do it real good, but I don't know what's been going on. But I try to do it as best as I can. As you can see, like, I'm backing up trying to figure out, like, what's going on. Like, why I look like that. But, I mean, I feel like once I put my lip gloss on, it looks a lot better. Um, because I'm not too big a on lip liner. I don't overline my lips too much because I like how they look already. Um, but I ended up fixing it, y'all. So, I know it looks a mess right now, but I ended up fixing it. Next, I go in with my favorite lip gloss in the world, y'all. And I pile it on. I put a whole bunch, um... Because that's just how I like. Um, I don't wear a lot of lip gloss. I mean, lipstick. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I feel like my lips are already pink. So, I don't really like that too much on my lips. Because then I'll be looking like a clown. I feel. Too many sticks. You go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks. I was that your ops and none of them died. Let's see. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed. Testing emojis till I got eggplant muscle went over her head. Catching my side of the skills, make him repeat what he said. Next, I go in with this setting powder, y'all. I got it as a kit in a kit for a gift um, that my friends had got me. Came with that, the setting spray, and then like the beauty blender that you see me using. But I try not to put too much, y'all, because I don't want to look like a ghost. But I put enough, and I put it in the places that I want it. Okay, and this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.